Giga Texas has recently uncovered a record-breaking number of over 600 Cybertrucks. While such a high figure would typically be cause for celebration, this time it appears to be linked to Tesla's decision to temporarily halt Cybertruck deliveries due to issues with the accelerator pedals. On Saturday, Tesla influencer Whole Mars Blog tweeted at Elon Musk's ex stating that Tesla's paused all Cybertruck deliveries for seven days due to an issue with the accelerator pedal. What's the current situation with Tesla's pickup truck? Why has Tesla decided to halt the production of the Cybertruck amid such crucial circumstances? The recent surprise cancellation of some Cybertruck delivery appointments by Tesla due to unexpected delays as reported by several initially scheduled customers expecting their vehicles last week has left the electric vehicle community somewhat astonished. According to various accounts on the Cybertruck Owners Club forum and on X, Tesla sent out a message notifying customers with delivery appointments that they'd have to cancel their appointments. Some users on the forum mentioned that the issue stemmed from problems related to the design and quality of the accelerator pedal, particularly the accumulation of lubricant residue during production. This caused the accelerator pedal to slip, making it difficult to control the vehicle and posing a safety risk while driving. Unlike other models in the S3XY lineup, Tesla's pickup truck features a floor-mounted accelerator pedal instead of a suspended one. This design requires the driver to use their entire foot to apply force to the pedal, which could cause the pedal to deviate from its position due to pressure on the pedal housing containing lubricant residue. To address this issue, Elon Musk swiftly developed an improved accelerator pedal housing layer that does not contain lubricant residue. All pending Cybertruck deliveries will be equipped with this new layer and completed vehicles will be taken to Tesla service centers for replacement before resuming deliveries. The company has temporarily halted deliveries until April 20, 2024 to ensure that all vehicles meet these new quality standards. Due to the one-week delivery pause to implement these improvements, Tesla customers may have to wait longer than anticipated to get their vehicles. However, Tesla hopes that these steps will not only minimize inconvenience but also enhance confidence in quality and safety of their products. Tesla's decision to temporarily halt Cybertruck deliveries is not only due to issues with the accelerator pedal, but also because this isn't the first time the models faced problems since its debut at the end of last year. Initial owners reported signs of rust on the stainless steel body, an issue vehemently denied by Tesla's chief engineer. This incident has raised concerns and doubts among customers about the durability and quality of the Cybertruck. The focus on using full stainless steel for the Cybertruck body by Tesla extends beyond its ballistic resistance or collision safety. Just two months into usage, reports emerged indicating rusting, further amplifying concerns about the vehicle's reliability. Despite reports of rusting, the crucial point is that the stainless steel is known for its corrosion resistance and high durability. However, stainless steel is typically not preferred as an exterior material for cars due to its challenging machinability. The Cybertruck, with its unique robust and angular design, is an exception. Tesla's proposed a solution to mitigate this issue by offering a $6,000 black or white paint film layer, or a $5,000 clear paint film layer. This coating is designed to protect the stainless steel surface from harmful factors such as scratches and other aesthetic damage. Tesla's usage instructions, although not widely released, have been posted online to address Cybertruck maintenance. It emphasizes avoiding elements that could harm the vehicle such as oil, tree sap, dead bugs, and road salt, which could affect the vehicle's appearance. These measures aim to not only maintain the Cybertruck's aesthetic appeal, but also to enhance its durability during use. In addition to the mentioned issues, there are other factors contributing to Tesla's decision to temporarily halt Cybertruck deliveries. One of them is the need to address software updates for over 2 million Tesla electric vehicles, including Cybertruck, due to font issues. The font on the warning light panel was found to be too small to meet safety standards, prompting a recall of approximately 2.2 million vehicles by the United States National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. In the statement, NHTSA administrators noted smaller font sizes on warning lights may make critical safety information on the control panel difficult to read, increasing the risk of collisions. This recall is one of several that Tesla's carried out in recent years, marking a setback for the company, a dominant player in the U.S. electric vehicle market. In another hurdle for Tesla, the Safety Regulatory Agency announced separately that the U.S. government's investigation into driving issues may affect 334,000 Tesla vehicles, which have been shifted to technical analysis. Additionally, some initial delivery batches were reported to be lacking aero wheel covers, which presented further challenges for Tesla. Another significant issue relates to the aerodynamic wheel covers of the Cybertruck, causing excessive wear on the tire sidewalls. This issue was highlighted through detailed observation in a T-Sportline video. The design of the wheel covers may lead to hidden issues after extensive use. 
The aero wheel covers extend beyond the wheels and come into contact with the tire sidewalls, causing abrasions while the vehicle's in motion. Although tire behavior is entirely normal when inflating as the vehicle loads cargo, it leads to contact between the aerodynamic wheel covers and the tire sidewalls, resulting in scratches. While seemingly not overly serious, the observation of scratches on Cybertruck tires after just a few thousand miles on the road has made Tesla concerned and prompted the decision to temporarily halt deliveries to address this issue. Despite ongoing issues with the Cybertruck, Tesla's continued to ramp up production at its Gigafactory in Austin, Texas, as evidenced by recent drone footage showing nearly 900 to 1,000 units being produced each week. The company's also delivered the first batch of Cybertrucks since the November launch event, with many pre-order customers still awaiting delivery. Recent data from Cox Automotive indicates that Tesla delivered 2,803 Cybertrucks in the first quarter. Tesla's also been utilizing the Cybertruck for advertising, rolling out displays of the unique electric vehicle across the U.S. and beyond. Although the vehicle is not slated for sale outside the U.S. and may never reach certain countries due to stricter pedestrian safety regulations, Tesla has showcased it in its tours through China, Japan, and Germany, with some speculating it'll even make its way to Thailand. Elon's steadfast efforts with a pickup truck notwithstanding, global electric vehicle sales are showing strong growth. Therefore, despite the Cybertruck delivery issues, recent figures suggest that the electric vehicle market will continue to expand in 2023, selling 13.7 million units worldwide in their fourth quarter. Thanks to this increase, electric sales reached 18% of global passenger vehicle sales last year, according to Bloomberg NEF. Despite the significant uptick, analysts predict a slowdown in annual growth rates. Regulatory reforms in Europe, a maturing market in China, and uncertainties surrounding the U.S. presidential election could impact consumer confidence in sales figures. While challenges may arise, the electric vehicle industry is forecasted to thrive in the coming years. As governments worldwide tighten emission regulations and consumers rally behind sustainable transportation, EV business operations are going to flourish. Are you surprised to learn that Tesla's temporarily halted their Cybertruck deliveries? Do you think there's any other reasons behind Tesla's decision to pause these deliveries? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. How will the recall affect the Cybertruck production process? Although the recall may inconvenience any new Cybertruck buyers who now have to wait a few more days or even a week to get their Cybertruck, it seems that this recall is not serious enough to have a long-term impact on Cybertruck production activities. As mentioned earlier, Tesla is only about one-tenth of the way towards achieving the ultimate production speed of the Cybertruck, which is 250,000 trucks per year. To reach this ambitious goal, Tesla faces a much more significant issue to address than simply using the wrong pedal cover. One potential challenge Tesla may encounter in ramping up Cybertruck production is the availability of key components and materials. Scaling production to meet high demand requires a steady and reliable supply chain, which can be disrupted by factors such as shortages or delays in sourcing raw materials. Furthermore, Tesla's ambitious production targets for the Cybertruck may strain its existing manufacturing infrastructure and logistics capabilities. Building additional production capacity and optimizing supply chain processes will be essential to support increased output without compromising quality or efficiency. Another consideration is the need for rigorous testing and quality assurance measures to ensure that each Cybertruck meets Tesla's high standards for performance and safety. Implementing robust quality control processes may require additional time and resources, potentially slowing down the production ramp-up process. Despite these challenges, Tesla's track record of innovation and agility suggests that the company is well-equipped to overcome obstacles and deliver on its production goals for the Cybertruck. By addressing potential issues proactively and leveraging its expertise in manufacturing and technology, Tesla can mitigate risks and capitalize on the growing demand for electric trucks in the market. While the recall may pose temporary challenges, Tesla's strategic approach to production and its commitment to excellence position the company for long-term success in the electric vehicle market, including the Cybertruck segment. What is Tesla's official production figure for the Cybertruck? Tesla does not include Cybertruck production activities in its quarterly production and delivery reports. This implies a couple things. First, Cybertruck production volume has not increased significantly enough to play a significant role in Tesla's finances. Second, we need to make informed estimates to determine the production volume for the Cybertruck. As of a few weeks ago, Tesla celebrated achieving a production speed sufficient for 1,000 Cybertrucks each week. Unlike all other Tesla models, the electric car manufacturer has decided to produce Cybercell batteries for Cybertrucks in-house. This allows us to monitor Cybertruck production process by measuring the output of key components. With 1,000 Cybertrucks per week, Tesla will achieve a production rate of 50,000 Cybertrucks per year.
However, despite reaching this significant battery production milestone, Cybertruck production volume at Giga Texas appears to be only half that figure. With an approximate production rate of 25,000 Cybertrucks per year, Tesla seems to have only one-tenth of the way left to reach Cybertruck's highest production target of 250,000 trucks per year. However, despite the challenges and issues to address, Tesla continues to strive to increase production speed and meet market demand. Addressing issues like the pedal cover is just one part of achieving Tesla's larger production goals. Rest assured that Tesla will continue to refine and improve its production processes to ensure that every detail of the vehicle meets the highest standards and meets customer expectations. Why is Tesla considering a significant reduction in its workforce right now? Tesla's battling against an increasingly challenging economic landscape. The car manufacturer told employees at Gigafactory Texas about shortening Cybertruck production shifts while preparing for a new round of layoffs after the first quarter of 2024. This comes after the company continued hiring in the latter half of 2022, following a previous hiring freeze and the first round of layoffs in June. Up to 20% of the workforce could be affected, occurring this week at the company. This comes after a dismal quarter, along with the company reducing production capacity. Last month, Tesla also reduced output at its most efficient factory, Gigafactory Shanghai. Today, we've received reports from Tesla employees regarding this significant rumor, indicating a large round of layoffs set to occur this week. This also comes after a poor business quarter for Tesla, with fewer vehicles delivered compared to the same period last year and well below the estimates of most pessimistic analysts. Tesla has several legitimate reasons for the decline in production this quarter, affecting delivery and logistics for distributing vehicles to customers. However, there's no satisfactory explanation for adding 46,000 vehicles to inventory in one quarter. The car manufacturer has been consistently stockpiling vehicles over the past year, and CEO Elon Musk primarily blames high prices and interest rates. Tesla plans to reduce production to match clearly lower demand. Last month, the company reduced output at Gigafactory Shanghai, its most efficient plant. Not only for Tesla, but other major tech companies like Apple have also announced employee layoffs, albeit at a much lower level than what's currently being rumored. Macroeconomic conditions are currently showing no signs of early improvement, and this may be the primary reason why Tesla is taking steps to slow down or reduce personnel costs. Additionally, the electric car company faces pressure from a recent sharp decline in stock prices. Elon recently pointed out that this decline is due to general stock market volatility, including rising bank interest rates rather than specific challenges Tesla is facing. However, critics still argue that Musk's lack of focus has contributed to the company's recent unstable financial performance in the eyes of investors. It's unclear how many employees will be affected by Tesla's upcoming round of layoffs, but the number could be significant as Musk has expressed concerns about cutting costs amidst slowing revenue growth. In recent years, Tesla's increased its workforce to around 140,000 people, nearly doubling from 2020. With such a large workforce, downsizing may be the next step that the electric car manufacturer has to take. Perhaps the only new model in Tesla's product lineup that doesn't have enough demand to run full ships is perhaps still the Cybertruck? That's worrisome, but not surprising. We suspect the decision to launch a proper truck priced at $80,000 to $120,000 and only with accelerating capabilities isn't the best plan. Instead, they should focus on improving their core product lineup and adding easier-to-produce models that have the potential to sell hundreds of thousands to a million units annually. If the decision to box up a $25,000 car to get a robo-taxi in return is a bit off, then the future of Tesla seems bleak. Robo-taxis won't be available for several years, not only because the technical challenges haven't been resolved yet, but also because of the government approval and market acceptance of such a product. Perhaps Elon will also know that the conspiracy theorists he's trying to befriend on Twitter aren't necessarily the type that buy electric cars. All he's doing is alienating those who actually have and will buy a Tesla. Elon needs to go. It would be best if he left on his own, but that's extremely unlikely to happen. The board's full of Elon advocates, but if they see their investment portfolio collapse, it'll push them to take action that they wouldn't have done on ethical or moral grounds. Elon Musk's leadership and Tesla's dedication to innovation will likely drive the resolution of challenges surrounding Cybertruck deliveries. With Musk's track record of innovative problem solvings and Tesla's commitment to technological advancement, they can leverage strategies such as addressing production issues, optimizing manufacturing processes, and streamlining delivery operations to expedite Cybertruck deliveries and boost sales. Despite the current hurdles, Tesla's proactive approach suggests that they are well-equipped to overcome obstacles and meet customer demand efficiently. We hope you'll experience the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you do, please press the like button and join your Tesla car world community by subscribing to our channel.
hit the notification bell icon to stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun. Thank you.